There's a permanent head for the state's prison system, and it comes, he comes from Louisiana, a legendary figure in the state's prison system, but he also brings a controversial past. 12 News' senior political correspondent Gerald Harris is live with more. Gerald. Yeah, Governor Tate Reeves' pick is Burl Kane, and he does come with a questionable pass. He's famously known for running the Louisiana State Penitentiary, known as Angolia, but he's coming out of retirement to take over the Mississippi Department of Corrections, which has had a troubled past. Burl resigned as warding at the Louisiana State Prison in 2016 after a number of reports of inappropriate financial dealings. Now, he denies anything inappropriate took place, and Governor Tate Reeves was aware before making the high. But he's focused now on the future and the challenges he may face here. And it's always been underfunded. And so what you have to do is have an attitude that we can do this. We're going to say yes more than no. And we're going to find ways to do it. And uh, it's going to be doable. I can assure you that. And the governor's going to provide what's needed for us. And we're going to be as efficient as we can. And we're going to be lean and mean and get it done. The Louisiana State Auditor found several potential violations of state law, including employees performing work on the former wardens, Kane's personal residence, and thousands of misspent dollars. Kane spent 21 years as warden of the Louisiana State Penitentiary, receiving national and global recognition. Also today, Reeves appointed a new leader of the Mississippi Department of Public Safety. It's Judge Sean Tindall, a former legislator and prosecutor. Also, Governor Reeves is going to sign the small business loan program that the legislature passed about a week ago that provides some immediate relief to those small business owners. Reporting in downtown Jackson, Gerald Harris, 12 News.